In this video, I'm gonna show you how I got into UW because watching these kinds of videos was really helpful for me when I was writing college essays last year. And I'm not a college app expert or whatever, so just take my advice with a grain of salt. It's up to you to implement what I say. Right, so in the first half of the video, I'm gonna be providing with a general timeline of when you should be getting things done, like your essays and stuff. And I'm also gonna give you some general common app resources that are gonna be helpful for you. So if you're a if you're gonna be a high school senior next year, this video is gonna be really helpful. And even if you're not applying to UW, this is still gonna be relevant to you because the advice that I'm about to share applies to any other college. But if you're not gonna be a high school senior or you're not applying to colleges, then this video is still gonna be helpful because in the second half of the video, I'm gonna be sharing you what my data science activities were in the Common App extracurricular section. So if you're not applying to colleges, but you're still interested in data science, then you can learn what activities that I did that are relevant to what you're interested in. And I'm gonna put timestamps in the description below. So it makes it a lot easier for you to skip and jump over to a specific part of the video. So with that being said, let's get right into it. All right, so when you apply to colleges, you're gonna use the website called Common App and it opens every August 1st. But I recommend that you actually start brainstorming your essays before that date because it's gonna give you a head start. So what I recommend you do is start brainstorming your essay in June. And by the start of July, you should start writing your first draft of your personal statement, which is the big 650 word essay. Say one. Then by August, which is when you start school, you should have a complete first draft of your personal statement. And this is going to put you way ahead of the other seniors out there who are just chilling in the summer. You're going to be really productive. You're going to be locked in. So when it comes to brainstorming for your personal statement, I recommend there's this website called College Essay Guy. I recommend looking at the 20 values brainstorming exercise, something like that. You basically come up with 20 items or events that really mean a lot to you and then you connect each event or each item to a personality trait. It's something like that. You could, I'll put the link in the description below. You could look more into that later, but it's really helpful for providing ideas for what your personal statement is gonna be. So when June's over and July starts and you're starting to draft out your first draft of the personal statement, I actually encourage you to choose the last prompt because you can write about whatever you want. And that's actually the prompt that I chose for my personal statement. So when you finish your first draft of your personal statement, hopefully it's by the time when your school starts in August. So this is gonna put you in a really good position. Now you can either start making small edits to your first draft or you can completely change the the idea of your first draft because sometimes like when you look back at your first draft a few weeks later for some reason you don't like it at all so you might choose a complete go a completely different route and go with a completely new topic that's what I did for my personal statement but it's important to remember that during this time you should also start writing your supplemental essays when your school starts because every school probably has one or two or even three supplemental essays that you have to write about they're usually pretty short they're like around some of them are longer, like 500 words, but some of them are really short, like 150. So UW has two supplemental essay questions. The first one is a long 650 word one where you could write about pretty much anything. And the second one is a 300 word essay where you have to talk about the a community or something that you belong to and how it impacts you. It's basically a diversity question. Now the good thing about UW is they don't actually look at your Common App personal statement. So basically when you write your personal statement, you have to paste it inside the Common App website and all the other colleges will see the Common App essay that you wrote. But for some reason, UW is different and they won't actually look at your essay that you paste in Common App. So basically what you can do is you just paste in your personal statement into the first supplemental essay question because it really, it basically fits perfectly for the prompt. That means that technically there's only one supplemental essay question for UW, which is the diversity question, and that's the 300 word one. But the downside of UW is that the deadline is really early. It's November 15th, and the decision date comes out all the way in March, which is really late. So you have like, you have a long time to wait for your decision. So it's important to apply to other schools because other schools, their decision, if you're doing early action, the decision comes out a lot earlier, like in January or even December. So to sum everything up for the general timeline I'm talking about, for June, you should try to start brainstorming your personal statement. And by the time July hits, you should start drafting, doing your first draft of your personal statement. And then before August, which is when your school starts, you should have a finalized, or not a finalized, you should have a finished first draft of your personal statement. And then when you're in school, you can 
switch between editing your personal statement and finishing up your supplemental essays. And remember to ask your English teacher for help because most of the time they're gonna be more than happy to help you as long as you're polite. Okay, now I'm gonna give you three pretty useful resources when it comes to college apps. So the first one is YouTube, watching videos like this one. And there's a lot of other YouTube videos out there that are really helpful. Just search up like common app advice or like how to write a personal statement. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of good results out there. And the second one is something that I already mentioned before. It's College Essay Guy. And he's basically a college essay consultant. And he has a bunch of free blogs on his website that you can take a look at. And the third one might be surprising to you. It's Reddit and you might think Reddit is like just some social media place that's really toxic and doesn't really help you at all but if you go to the right the right posts you can actually find some really useful information and there's a subreddit called A2C which is applying to college some of the posts if you do some searching you can find some really useful posts they're from professional college essay editors they actually post on that subreddit giving advice so yeah that's basically the three resources that I use if you're gonna be a senior next year in high school this summer is gonna be the summer where you really have to lock in and be productive as much as you can because the summer next year when you graduate high school that's the time where you just chill and relax and stuff but for now you need to remember that you're almost there you only got one year left so you gotta not don't get distracted but remember at the same time don't get too burnt out this summer you gotta make sure to have some fun but also get your work done at the same time with that being said i'm gonna change up the video a little bit we're gonna move on to the second half of the video which is my activities that were related to the major of my choice which was informatics so if you're not applying to colleges and you skip to this part of the video then this is gonna be helpful because i'm gonna be sharing my activities you should probably look into the activities that i've done because if you're looking into going to a data science career then you should do as many activities as possible that are related to that field but if you're still applying to colleges then this part of you is still gonna be helpful because you might just be curious about what kind of extracurriculars that i put in for my common app and you're gonna be seeing me look off to the side because i'm reading off the list of activities that i've done the first one that i've done was the remote sensing summer program it was basically where i just analyzed geospatial data and i used that i worked with like 30 other students in the program to help respond to a natural disaster it was obviously it was like a sim it wasn't a real natural disaster it was like a simulation that we did we had to respond to a hurricane that was coming to the area using python and we learned how to use libraries like geopandas and normal pandas and things like that so you should take a look into those library if you're interested all right the second data science related activity i've done was blogging on a website called medium it's basically a place where you just write articles and so what i recommend you do is like when you're doing activity don't just learn something you should also like try to sh share what you learn to other people so that they benefit from what you learn too and also i feel like blogging in general is like really helpful because it helps your writing skills a lot and so this the activity to have in the medium blogging on medium i guess you can say it doesn't really relate to data science you could it relates to like any other field that you're interested in so let's say like you're interested in going to medicine field you could just like write articles on what you've learned that are related to medicine field so it applies to any anything that you want and the third thing on here i guess this isn't really this isn't really a activity it's more of an award section that I put in the common app. It's the Udemy certificate. So basically Udemy is like a website where you enroll in a course and each course has like a bunch of videos that you watch. And what I did was I did the SQL course and an Excel course. And I basically just took notes on what I learned. And basically in the end, you just get a certificate of completion. So basically I put that on my common app because I feel like that highlights the some skills that I learned that are useful in the data science field. So if you're interested in learning Excel and SQL from a Udemy course, then I'll put a link in the description below for the ones that I've watched. But in general, also Udemy has a bunch of other courses that aren't just related to data science. There's a bunch of other fields out there. So if you're if you're going for another field other than data science, then Udemy is still going to be really helpful for you. All right, and the last activity that I've done related to my major was this YouTube channel. So basically, it's given me more motivation to learn new data science skills because I feel like if I stop learning, then I'm going to be stopped posting videos. As, and I, I want to post as many videos as I can, you know. Obviously, my schedule can get pretty busy, but 
I'm trying to do the best I can here. And so I feel like in general, you should try to make a YouTube channel because it's really easy to do. All you need is like a microphone, a camera, and a computer. And even sometimes like if you don't want to show your face, then you don't even need the camera. You just need a microphone and computer. And that's literally all you need just to just like record something that you like and just post it online and other people are going to watch it, you know? So I feel like you should post videos that are really interesting to you and you that you like so you can choose like any niche for me it's educational niche but like some other people you might prefer like you might want to make comedy videos or like skits or whatever stuff like that do whatever you want you know if there's something that you're genuinely passionate about then you should definitely make videos on it and put yourself out there you know all right so i usually don't make these kinds of videos most of my videos are just like the standard python and excel tutorials so if you want to learn those skills then make sure to check out the videos that you're gonna see on the screen somewhere. I'm gonna make more videos on what I learned or and what happens at UW. I'm gonna make a whole playlist. So make sure to check out that playlist in the future when I make the next video. This video is gonna be the first video in like the whole UW playlist. So with that being said, hopefully you like this video. Make sure to give it a like and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're interested in learning more data science videos. So yeah, all right, hopefully I see you in the videos that are on the screen right now and yeah have a good one